Hi, welcome to explore Alasian conference training course. Today is day nine. I will guide you how to import a conference space into some the file format. Basically, is when you are working on a conference space and you want to migrate it, or even you want to create a conference template for your project. So you want to import it into the XML or PDF or other file format, and then. You can use that exported file and import it again into Confluence later on. Okay, so now in this video today, I will guide you step by step on how to import the Confluence data to the file. Okay, let's get started. Open browser and you are set into the Confluence page. This is the home page of my Confluence for the project website development project with GenVS. You take a look into the left menu. We have the space setting hyperlink here. Let's go ahead to click on space setting. It will open the detail for space setting. On this page, we have the overview will be selected by default. Permission content tool. Go ahead to click on the content tool. In the content tool, we have a lot of tab here, template, reorder pages here, and take a look into the export tab here. Click on it. In the export detail, we have some the format, HTML, XML, and PDF. If you select the first option for the HTML, this one will help you to import all of the content in this working space into the HTML format. Let's select this option and then click on the next button. In the second step, you will be select normal export or custom export. So normal export, it will help to generate a HTML file for each page in this way, including on the blog, comment, and attachment. The second option, custom export, it will generate a HTML file of selected pages based on option that you choose from below. So that means if you want to select the option number two here, you are able to select the content you want to be import. And the third option, it will import everything in this working space into the HTML file. Basically, I will select the first option, normal import. Click to import button. It will navigate you to the import space progress path. Depending on how many content on this working space will be imported. So it will be taking a lot of time on us. Yeah. So after we complete the preparation for import, you can see the progress bar in blue here has been filled until 100%. And at the list of this progress bar, we have the import complete download here. That means when you click on the hyperlink here, it will download the HTML file for you. Okay, open it up. And here, right click on this file, extract the files. Let me open the detail. By default, it will compress on the HTML file into a folder. And this folder is the space key. Open this one and you can see in this file, it contains a lot of the HTML file. Also styling, style, this one is the CSS for this space. And we have image folder. All of the icon and image will be imported into this folder. Attachment, yeah. We have a lot of things here. Terminal image, yeah. And we have an index.html file. Open it up, click on the HTML, index HTML file, and then it's been open. Yeah. And you can see all the content here. Click on the website development project with JNVS. 
this is the home pad yeah and other places okay and then you can deliver this HTML here for other people to booking on it or something like so okay come back to the report again Content tool, import. So the second option will be import in the HTML format. Yeah. If you import the working space into the HTML format, so you can re-import it into the Confluence later on. Yeah. So that means there are three options here. But if you select option E, import it in the HTML or PDF, so you cannot re-import it into the Confluent for later. But if you select the second option, HTML, you can re-import it again for future. Okay. I think for this, I will do it for the third option, import in PDF. Yeah. We also have the normal and custom import. Normal import, that means you are going to import everything. And the custom import, that means you are able to import it by on the selection. Yeah. It will also, it will have another option in check up here. It includes page number. Add a page number to the bottom of every page. Yeah. It's very good. Import it. Download PDF. And here you can see all of the data will be imported into a PDF file. Okay. And come back again. I will select the second option. The second option will be export the content into the HTML file. Click on this next button. And we have two options for import content into the HTML file. Full, full import. It will be included on the basis not visible to you. Yeah. So, what does it mean for the basis not visible to you? Okay. You remember that in the previous lesson, we also know how to add the restriction to limit asset for some specific version. For example, in Sky, if we have some the limitation or some restriction for other people in the working space, so. After you import it to the XML file, so it will, will be import everything for you. Also, we have the second option, the custom import. You can pick up anything you want to be imported. Okay. And then click on the import button. Before we click on the import button here, you can see we have a warning message. Recommend when taking import to Confluence server. Yeah. Click on import button. Yeah. Download. So, it will download the content for you into a zip file, confluent import.zip file. We can extract it. When you open it in detail. So, in this of viewing the content in HTML format, so you see here we have the entice.xml file. We also have a, another folder called it in attachments. And in the attachment folder, we have some new file. Have it about it here. You can open the entice.xml file into some of the notepad plus, plus. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this lesson, you know how to import all of the content from the working space into some the format. By default, it will be support for you to import the content into three options, PDF, HTML, and HTML format. If you are going to import the content into the HTML, so you can re-import it into the uh, Confluent in the next time. Otherwise, if you select the option import it into the HTML and PDF. So you are only able to deliver it for other people for 
preference. You cannot import it again in a confluent in the future. Okay, so I hope this lesson will be helpful for you. Let me know if you have any question. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.